Well, are we doing out there? Are we all spot on? And thanks for watching the video. Now I have to thank Aaron for this one. Um, he sent me a message on Instagram with a photograph of these. Can you try them? Um, so I thought, oh yeah, I am definitely going to try these. Um, come and have a look what I got. So, cheers Aaron for that. It said it was new on the label. Um, I got these in Aldi. Ashfield, Ashfield's Grill. Salt and chilli pork belly slices. Succulent British pork belly slices with a salt and chilli marinade. Uh, there is um, a traffic light system for the nutrition. And there is a, a serving suggestion. These were £3.49. pence. So let's take a look at the packaging. Oh, I do apologise for the shadows. and not the group neither. Um, so it's Red Tractor certified, certified standards on there. Let's go around the back. So there's some more nutritional information there. If you want to pause that and have a look at that, by all means, go ahead. A little bit of spiel. British pork belly slices with a salt and chilli marinade. Directions for use. Oven cook at fan 160, electric 180, gas 4 for 50 to 55 minutes. Low and slow with this one. Ingredients. British pork belly. 97%. Um, 400 grams and there is a GB sticker there. Produced using British pork packed in a protective atmosphere. Ooh, let's get let's get them open and have a look. So let's do the seal appeal test. Oh, it's, look at that, it's filled straight away. So these are they're like doubly packed these with them being fresh. I was told they're doubly sealed. You can see the see them there look but yeah never mind. Oh never mind. it doesn't matter because we're not we're not cooking the, the plastic packaging now we? we're gonna take them out and cook them. That's what we're gonna do. So low and slow with this one is belly pork. Um oh look at them. I love belly pork, I really do. Look at that. Oh, this is going to be a treat. Thank you very much, Aaron. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to lay them out on here. Kind of an equal spacing. Oh, that's not equal, is it? That's a bit better. So if you do see any new food out there, please let me know. I, I am on Instagram as well um, and Facebook, Bowl Foodie Guy. You can message me on either um, because it's a great source of... A great source of informa information and... Um, I do try and do new food first. Sometimes I do old food as well, but if you do see any out there, please um, please get in touch or get in touch on YouTube. Right, I'm gonna get these in the oven now. Got a few jobs around the house to do and I'll, uh, I'll bring you back sort of uh, when I turn them over. Um, these come with a two um, chili rating. It says medium on there, salt and chili pork belly slices. Oh yeah, happy St. George's Day. Um, they've had 25 minutes, I'm going to turn them over. Cool. Oh, look at all that fat coming out of them. <laughs> oh, these are going to be good. These are going to be good. I think you you, you could do these in the air fryer, um, but you really want to be doing belly pork slow, really. Oh, look at that. I'll just give you a quick look. And then they'll go back in for another 25 minutes. So you could probably make your own, you know, you could make your own, um, get a load from the butchers, go to your local butchers, get a load of belly pork. Now it used to be cheap years ago, belly pork, and it's not getting that cheap anymore, is it? Everything's going up. But I got a, I got a lovely present, a lovely gift sent to me um, by Oily Hands and... Um, salt and pepper seasoning. We put this on chips sometimes. It doesn't have to do so good salt and pepper chips. Um, now you could get a load of ribs from your butchers. Stick a load of that on them. You know, and if you wanted, stick some chili chili flakes on them as well. But just just the same thing, really, isn't it? Just a, just an idea. That was all. Right. 12 minutes to go and I'll bring you back, can't wait for this one.
So they're done I hope. <laughs> Have a look at them. Oof, that's hot. Even with the oven glove on they're still hot. Have a look at them. It's taste test time. So I'm going to cut one in half. I've let them rest for a little bit. Look at that. Maybe that's a maybe too much for a mouthful. I'll get into it now. See what this is like. If I can hold this dodgy selfie stick, it's broke. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, maybe consider subscribing, and thank you very much, Aaron, for this recommendation. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> that is good. That is good. It's salty. It's a two chilli rating. Mm. No, oh, that is lovely. The, the, the salt's definitely there. The chilli's there. Not, not overpowering, not a massive heat. They're well seasoned. They are lovely. They really are. Right, have a look at these. Um, and there's you've got your spices on there, look, your chilli flakes and your salt. Thank you very much, Aaron, for the recommendation. Mm. <laughs> they are good. They're well seasoned. Apologise, talking in my mouth full. They're salty. That is one thing they are, is salty. It does say... Salt and chilli pork belly. Pork belly! Reminds me of Trading Places. Do you know that film? Dan Aykroyd. Um, Winthorpe! It's Winthorpe, isn't it? Isn't it? Brilliant film. What a brilliant film. Um, it says chilli marinade. Now, I was thinking that they'd be quite sweet. But they're not. It's not quite sweet. I'll use my hands. They are clean. Mm. The chilli heat is there. It's tasty though as well. They're a tad chewy. I would prefer them to cook them a bit longer, but maybe they might have dried out a little bit. But they are very succulent and juicy and tasty and fatty. Just what you want. I do like them. I love belly pork. Always love belly pork. And it's it's, it's good. It, they are well seasoned, so prepare for the salt. Um. They're not sweet at all. I was like I said before, with it being a chilli marinade, I was expecting it to be a little bit sweet, but it's not. Um, but it does, the, the, there is a chilli, um, the heat there. I can feel it now on the back of my throat. But they're uh, definitely uh, definitely good. I do like them. So thank, thank you very much, Aaron, for the recommendation. But yeah, it's absolutely spot on. They're, they're good them. They're good. The nine out of ten. I like them. I do like them. Um... I think the picture that you sent me, Aaron, you you did them in the air fryer with chips as well, and they look good. They did look good. Um, so thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, take care. Um, all the best, and I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>